Hey YouTube, Ian Dudley here. I've had a couple people ask me how to go about combining different movements um, that are made in Sibelius into one file. Um, and there's two kind of different ways to do this. You can do this either within Sibelius itself, or you can do this um, by exporting all the different movements as PDFs and then combining it later. Um, there are kind of pros and cons to each uh, way to do it, but I'll show you both so then at least you have options. Okay, so then the first thing you want to do is, uh, with the first movement, obviously you want to see which page number it ends on. Um, so it ends on page 9. And I'll show you with PDFs first. So uh, page 9, um, export, and just pretend that this movement is 100% uh, edited and good to go. Documents, I'll just put it on my desktop so it's easier to find. Sweet. And then, by the way, this is just a duet that I wrote a while ago, and these are just older versions that I hadn't uh, combined. Um, so one thing that, that you want to do is, seeing how we're exporting these all differently, um, just for this example, uh, you want to make sure that the page numbers are uh, consistent. So with movement 1, it ends on page 9, so with movement 2, it um, would make sense to have it start on page 10. Now how you go about changing this is you go do the text tab, page number change, and then just type in 10, and then you see how it alters it, where this is page 10, 11, 12, so that makes all sense. Now if you want this, you see uh, that it actually hides the number for 10. You now if you want to show this, all that you need to do is um, push shift command and then H, and then that'll make it show, but if you don't want to, um, just doing the exact same command, shift command H will make it go away. So there we go. And, and one thing that you want to make sure about is seeing how before it was, like the page numbers were on the opposite side, so you want to double check to make sure that they are no longer bumping into anything. Um, in case, for example, you see how that would not look very good, so you just want to double check all that stuff. Uh, cool, and then just export this. Desktop, sweet. And this one ends on page 14, so that means movement 3 has to start on page 13, or 15, see if I can count right. Uh, boom, and then same thing, just want to make double, yep, sweet. File export. So now that we have our three different PDF files, um, how you go about combining them is pretty easy. So all you need to do is just open the first one with preview and then just view, click on thumbnails, and it'll, it'll show you all the pages on the side here. Um, so you see this line right here? All you need to do is grab the second movement and have it go underneath the page but above the line. You don't want to have it go below the line because that's something different. So above the line, just drop it, and then you can see it goes from 9, 10, 11, 12, and all that fun stuff. And then you do the same thing with 3. And then just go to File, Save, and now it is just one PDF file. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to combine uh, different files, or different movements into just one Sibelius file itself. Now there are some people who prefer to do this, and there's sometimes there's advantages to doing this, but... I'll show you anyway, so then you have options. So what we first want to do is just add a bar at the end of the first movement, um, just so then we have somewhere to copy and paste into. Um, now, with the second movement, um, if it just happened that these two are the same time signature, um, they're different key signature, this one's in uh, C minor, uh, but if you have um, different time signatures, like I just added, just for the sake of um, showing you the difference between this. Um, I'll just copy this part with blue, um, copy, and then paste it into here. You can see that, unfortunately, it does not reflect any time signature changes. I'm just going to go ahead and undo that. Going back to the second movement. Um, so then what uh, you need to do instead is um, if you hold command first, then it'll select it in purple. 
and then what that will do is it will select and it'll uh, keep the time signatures and everything the same. Now the thing you have to be careful about this, you can see that it selects everything. Um, before I didn't even bring the Adagio Lamentoso over. So then what you need to do then instead is delete this first and it'll ask you, obviously you want it gone, so just click no. Delete here, no. And then select this so then you're not copying that into the next file as well. So shift, so it's all selected. Copy and paste it into here, like so. And then if you go to the beginning, you can see that now we have everything, um, including the time signature changes, um, the title, which is way up here, and all that stuff. So now how to fix this. Now you can see that it didn't uh, honor the key signature. So all you need to do is just push K for that, um, select whatever one it was before. Um, we don't want this cautionary uh, key signature, so you just select it, shift command H to hide it, like that. Um, select this bar, because we want to have it separated, so if you go to layout, split system, you can see then that indents this section page break, so now it's on two different pages, and while it's still selected, might as well bar line, final bar line, but you see how there's still this little extra, or the bar lines are kind of going through, so what you want to do then is just reset node spacing in the appearance tab, and then that corrects it because it takes into account all the hidden stuff. And uh, here you can see that there's lots of spaces here, but that's just because I have rests that are hidden. Um, just for the pickup measure, and then just slide those over so then it's a little more correct spacing. I'll probably even a little more so like that. And then we're good to go with that one. Uh, and I'll show you the third movement, just because this is the whole thing's in a different time signature. It's a little different to do that then. Um, so with the third movement, you see it's in 4-4, four, four, it's in G minor. Um, so before you copy and paste that, Go ahead and delete that. I think that's actually all that was in this one. So, um, go ahead and copy that, and then paste it into the first one. Okay, cool. So now with this one, you can see that not only do we need. Um, I'm just going to change the key signature. Look really quickly. There we go. So now not only do we have the cautionary key signature, we also have a time signature. Now key signature is pretty easy to take care of. You just hide it, but unfortunately you can't do the same thing with the time signature. Um, the only way you can actually hide that is by selecting this one, which isn't very helpful because we kind of need to know what time signature this is in. Um, so, I'm, so I'm just going to redo that. Um, so instead what you do is go to, um, oops, excuse me, time signature, which is T. Um, go to more options, and then make sure this is not selected. The allow cautionary. And with that, then you can see um, without any cautionary, then there's no uh, extra time signature, cautionary time signature right there, which is what we want. Um, so then now that we have that, go ahead and uh, do the final bar line, and then in layout do the split system because then that will indent it and then do a page break if you want you put throw that onto a new page and we're almost good to go um, now kind of what we did earlier with the page numbers um, making them consistent we kind of have to do the opposite with the measure numbers um, so you see how it goes obviously from 190 that would be 190 right here it makes the second movement start on 191 um, which is kind of weird and we don't want that to happen. So we need to do then just go to text and then you need to select bar number change new bar number one and Then they'll make uh, the second movement start on the first measure now usually you don't want a number on bar number one so just with that selected hide it and you'll be good to go with that one and just do the same then at the beginning of the third uh, movement And boom, 
we're good to go. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful and insightful. Uh, it'll give you two different um, ways of combining different movements into one file, whether it's PDF or within its playlist.